Okay, I had a um, <laughs> had a response um, to the last video that said, um, no way, one capacitor couldn't fix that problem. And um, yeah, <laughs> it can. Um, as you can hear, we're now, uh, we're putting in about 0.5 a microvolt, not much. So I really put a bit more in there now. Um, so uh, the rest will be alignment. Um, the, and I've got to have a look at this display. Have a look at this. See how I go up here? Well, believe me, um, and I go down there, not so bad. But the display is a bit, um, a bit angle <laughs> uh, annoying at the moment. Where, you know, when you're looking at, when I've got it on the, I've actually got to tilt my head every time I've got to look at this radio. Um, and the displays normally are not like that, so um, have to have a little look. Um, can't remember actually whether they had a, uh, a menu. Uh, it'll be the brightness or something silly going on, um, brightness contrast or something. But I've been a while since we've um, played with anything to do with uh, displays on the 690s and 450 SATs. Anyway, yep, all works. Um, uh, but I reckon the rest will be alignment. Uh, to be very honest, uh, let me just put a microphone in and show you what I'm talking about. Um, the um, oh, these. Output at the moment, turn that annoying noise off. Um, on my favourite 27355 test frequency because we do so many CVs here. Uh, hello. Okay, so definitely down in power there. So we, we you know, we've got a second uh, fault to to uh, to chase and find out what's going on there. Um, but often what happens is someone will come into a radio and they'll think oh, maybe if I adjust a few things. So. People like me got to pull out my <laughs> adjustments and we work through, right through, have a look and just basically go through pages of stuff to see, all right, um, in this case, we'll, you know, not obviously go through the PLL and carrier adjustment because we're, you know, that might be fine tuning later. But in the receiver section, I'll put money on the fact that our signal meter reading that we're getting there, uh, which um, is not going under about S9. Uh, now, if I put a tone in, it obviously flips over, no worries and uh, full scale but it's um but you see the thing is it is what what makes you think adjustment and, and probably this is a good thing to go through um the reason i say adjustment is because let's go back to putting 0.5 of a microvolt through into this um here so there's 0.5 of a microvolt so it, it, it's hearing 0.5 and have a look at that too one two one two now something else that that's not the box on too here it is, about, I'll tell you what's happening. I reckon the Vox switch has got a little bit of an issue there. Let's have a little look, yep. One, ah oh, no, oh hang on. Or on the rear of this connector, or on the mic. <laughs> Let's have a look. And sometimes what you've got to do, you've got to sit there and, and sit there and just go move things around and, and look for it. So two things could be happening there. Mic cord, Vox, uh, so what we'll do is we'll turn our Vox gain down and find out if the Vox is on permanently. But I reckon if I get this mic and go, hello, 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 yep. And I've actually got the Vox off at the moment. Uh, let me put this radio on its side. <laughs> so, there's our Vox switch in, which that should work perfectly. Hello, one, two, three, as it should. There's our Vox switch out. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. It's doing a couple of crazy things there too. Hello, one, two, one, two, you can see. <laughs> so, whilst we've got audio fixed on this, we've got a couple of things we're going to keep sort of moving through um, and uh, playing around with. Um, yeah, I... <laughs> we'll check the back of this too, because have a look at this. That's a little bit loose too, and that's not just the mic plug, that is the mic socket. Yeah, see how that moves around there? They've got solder joints on the back of those and they can get really nasty. But as you'll notice, as I'm knocking around, it's not flicking into transmit. So more than likely a Vox uh, problem that's uh, causing that. Anyway, it's amazing. It didn't work and now it does work. Um, just wish, see that? Isn't that funny? When I look through the camera there, okay, it gets a bit sort of terrible there. But there, if I just drop my head, that's actually not looking too bad, the display. In, in reality, the camera's picking it up better than my eyes. Maybe I need to trade my eyes in, I don't know. We'll have a look. Anyway, we'll keep going, but yep, to the uh, message that came through, uh, yes, one single diode will do it. Uh, just notice something else too, something to look for. 
Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now, this always tells you things. Have a look at the distance between the screw and where it is there. It hasn't been out by us. It's been out by somebody. We're off to the PA at some stage to have a look. Once we've got this uh, S-meter thing sorted out, like, and you'll see that go down now. See how that goes down? And I come back on signal, but it doesn't go back. That'll be an adjustment, I guarantee you. And the Vox issue, um, this has got a number of issues. <laughs> it's, um, oh, it's a fun one. But look, you know what? Um, how to spend your um, afternoon, I suppose. Um, but yeah, definitely. That's 0.5 of a microvolt. And um, it's hearing it. So, look, all good. So we're taking a, a non-audio radio back to, we've got some transmit. Definitely receiving OK. We'll do the alignment on this next and uh, see how she goes. So might even do a quick video on the finish off on this one. <laughs> if you never see a video, you'll know that I threw it in the bin. But no, this one shouldn't be too bad. 73 is all the best from VK3CM. JDW229, please subscribe. Cheers.